Hello, I'm SMB Collector. We've all heard of the Game Boy, I'd say it's even a household name, but here's a bit of a Game Boy spin-off product, the Radio Boy, an AM FM receiver designed with the Game Boy in mind. It was made by Moni with the date 1993 listed on the package, but 1992 listed on the actual product. The Radio Boy runs on batteries, not included, and uses earphones, included. Actually, as a Mario collectible, I prefer no batteries. That means I don't have to worry about battery acid melting and burning away at my collection. It has the volume control on the side, the same type of wheel kind that the Game Boy has, which I always liked, and it appears to also be the on and off control here. On the left, where the Game Boy's contrast can be adjusted, is now the tuning control, and on the top is the AM FM switch, as well as the earphone jack. Where our Game Boy screen would be is where the dial scale, displaying which radio frequency it's tuned into is. And the back, the back has a belt clip and, you know, this is getting a bit dull. Let's talk about some Mario stuff. In case you haven't noticed yet, the art on this thing's package is awesome. Look at that, Mario's enjoying some airwaves. Yoshi's also joining in the fun with his own radio boy. And so is Lakitu up there in the corner. And, well, I don't know what that Goomba's doing here. Um, Goomba, would you mind leaving? You're making everyone else feel like they're just showing off. There's also an Eerie with the radio boy too, but... For some reason, it's colored like Yoshi. Huh. One thing that really helps let you appreciate the art direction here is concerning the horrible alternative of trying to make Mario and company appear hip and cool and ultimately leaving them to become inevitably outdated, as was done in the awful, awful booklet that came with the Nintendo White Knuckles score on CD just a year or two prior to the Radio Boys release. Now let us never speak of that again. You know, I just noticed something funny. None of these characters have any discernible ears that the earphones could rust in except Mario, and yet he's the only one shown holding them in place. Anyways, that's it for now, so thanks for watching.